Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for my babies, my Leos. Hi, what's up Leo fam? What's going on, Lion team? What's up? It's your girl. It's your girl. And I'm here to read for you from September 1st through the 15th, okay? And see what's going on for you. All right, Leo. Um, this is going to be a general read. Like always, please take what resonates for you. Leave what doesn't. Always use your own intuition for your own highest good, guys. I cannot stress it enough. I'm not the one to make decisions for your life. You are. All right. Um... What else? Yeah. Okay. So uh, if nothing resonates here in this reading for your sun sign, Leo, please definitely check your moon rising and Venus sign videos um, or just to get a better forecast, look at all three of those. And if none of that happens to resonate for you, then sometimes you got to dig in the crates, go into the older readings and see if there's something there for you. Okay, Leo. Um, I can't believe we're in September. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, especially through our season, August. Hello. We raged it and those July babies. I, I try to include July. I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Don't get mad at me. Um, but yeah, a pretty good August. I, I feel for myself it was, I know, but uh, for a lot of Leos. So guys, if you are interested in the cards that I use and stuff like that, I have links down below in the description box. And also if you want to follow me on social media, okay? Uh, feel free to reverse the roles. You know who you are throughout this reading. Um, it may vacillate back and forth with the energy. Okay. And last but not least, if you like this video, if any of it resonates for you, if you get a nugget, if it makes your juju feel good on the inside, please smash the love button, show your girl some love, subscribe, comment down below. I always love talking to you. Okay. Let's go. All right. Hey, Squirt. What you doing? You shaping again? Okay, messages for Leo. Show me Leo, August 1st through the 15th, please. Leo, ah, oh, shit, somebody got a motorcycle. Okay, <laughs> chariot. We have cancer energy that came right out. Things are just rolling right on forward for you. You guys are looking, looking good, doing, you're in bad assery mode. Okay, rolling into September like, excuse me? <laughs> Looking really good, but some stuff is moving for you, okay? So if you're feeling blocked, it's happening now. Looks to me like you got a bit of some jealousy or some hateration going on here, okay? As uh, Mary J would say, no hateration or holleration or whatever it is. I don't know. Anyway, five of wands, a lot of competition, jealousy even, um, people saying a lot of things. Uh, some disruptions and drama okay so there is a little bit of drama going on here but I feel like for many of you the chariot is saying that you're actually moving away from that drama okay maybe some of you is moving towards it I really hope not let's hope not okay all right what do we have here for Leo Ten of Wands, okay, you got a lot of heaviness, like some things that you need to get rid of or put down here. You've been carrying some shit for a while, Leo, and you need to let it go, okay? Maybe some jealousy or somebody's got some jealousy around you. What else? Knight of Cups, okay, so we got some romantic feelings, somebody letting you know how they feel or maybe you are feeling some feel some type of way or some feelings about a particular person but this could be dealing with love you might be like moving on from a situation that was feeling dramatic or heavy to you leo okay yeah okay so to a sword so some of you have made a decision um about some type yes my love hi baby about some type of uh love relationship here and some of you may have felt very stuck uh, in this decision, like maybe you're like, you need to make a decision about love, about your emotions, about how you feel about this particular thing, because it's been, um, there's been some arguing and some heaviness here. Okay. Like you want to move, maybe move forward or move away from that. Um, but you're feeling very stuck. So you're at like a stalemate type of energy. Okay. Give me an overall energy of this spread, please, for Leo. Sorry, these things are so thick. 
love these cards, but they're thick. And I have little hands, so. The Emperor in Reverse. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with uh, Aries Leo Sag. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, even uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini here. But we have uh, Fire and Water. Very strong here. So Emperor in Reverse. Feeling like... <clears throat> Maybe not feeling very powerful. Maybe you're in your ego a little bit here, okay? Because the emperor in the upright is somebody who's really kind of standing in their power, knows what they want, and is going for it. Maybe you guys are not feeling that way right now. Like, you're kind of feeling like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, maybe I'm feeling a loss of power or a lack of power. Could even be feeling a little bit out of control with your power, okay? Like, um, abusing it, maybe even. Ah, that sounds very odd. The star in reverse. Is this whole deck upside down? Yeah, the whole deck's upside down. Well, there's a reason for that. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to put it right side up. How did that even happen? All the other cards came out right side up. Did you guys notice that? Okay, so anyway, we have the star in reverse. I'm going to take it as it is because I don't believe there are any mistakes. This is you not being hopeful for something, okay? It could be you giving up. Um, maybe you just want to heal or something like that. Maybe things are just really out of whack and you're just not seeing, uh, you know, like what is, what, what you're capable of here, what's possible. Okay. So, um, not getting a wish come true. Okay. So maybe you're feeling this loss of power or something. All right. Let's see. What's the, what's the challenge or what doesn't Leo see coming here? The King of Cups. Another one. Another one. What you don't see coming is uh, somebody expressing their feelings, wanting to date, be romantic, maybe even offer a cup of love to you, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we have the world. Yeah, things changing. And we have the Two of Cups and we have the three, the, um, the Queen of Pentacles. So I would say, Leo, if you were in a situation where you had to break it off with somebody we're going to clarify you got somebody coming right back in either that or this person is upgrading okay because this is a knight so this seems like this is somebody who's younger than you okay there's a big change happening because we got we got some good stuff going on here and this is you getting into some sort of soulmate connection okay i think it could be after making a hard decision, a head over heart decision, a tough one to uh, cut somebody out of your life. All right, Leo, and I see that happening in September. Yay. All right, so um, these are upright, by the way, and there's no mistakes. You feel sad. I think maybe you wished for that connection and you didn't get it but it doesn't matter leo don't sweat it somebody else is right here look and he looking fine too yeah he got on some new shoes fish jumping all the things all right why do we have the chariot please clarify the chariot oh, excuse me and why am I sitting here? Because I just got tired of sitting at my table. I was like, you know, I really want to do something different. And one of my light bulbs is out too. So I was like, you know, I never sit in other places in my house anymore. If you're new here, like I used to do my readings in my bedroom and then I got tired because my place is really, really tiny. <laughs> like, and um, I got tired of like walking around my table all the time, so. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles uh, with the Chariot. Why else do we have the Chariot? Eight of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with somebody that you worked with, okay? But I feel like uh, for some of you, when it comes to your job, there might be a new position that you're learning or something like that. Um, you could be taking a new position 
uh, we have like working with a team here planning uh, you're planning on moving forward okay and doing something that has to do with work you're working really hard at something I feel like whatever it is you're working really hard period that's what you're doing in uh, September but I feel more like you guys are making some strategic connections and moves to like push yourself forward either in the workplace or like if you're doing business like making contracts with people and teaming up with others okay so that's great I love that okay for some of you I think you're moving you're like moving forward in a connection because You've put a lot of time and energy and you considered it like, you know, a team type of vibe, okay? And I feel like something happened here. Why do we have the Ten of Wands? You could be really tired too. Yeah, Ten of Cups, joy, peace, happiness, um, being emotionally fulfilled. I think you're, like, I think Leo, for some of you, if it comes to a, down to a romance that we're talking about, some of you are leaving a heaviness behind because you're choosing to, like, have peace, okay, and have joy. Maybe there was just a lot of work that you needed to put into a connection, and you were like, okay, I'm just, this is just too much work for me at this point. This is just too much work. I need to ease up my vibe here and, and move forward with myself, okay? All right, why do we have a five of wands? Nine of wands. I feel like it, it was it was just a tough connection, okay? You guys are really strong. You don't give up. You have a lot of determination. That can also be the nine of wands as somebody who's like not quitting, not giving up, okay? You're fighting for your dreams and the things that you really, really want right now, Leo. And what I'm seeing is like you're willing, if it's too much work and sacrifice, uh, like let's say in a partnership, even if it's your job, whatever it is, Leo, you're looking for full happiness and satisfaction. It's like that Marie Kondo thing. I just started watching it too, Sparking Joy. That's like what this feels like for me. Sp sparking Joy for you, Leo. Like that's where you're focused. Whatever is going to make you happy. If it's too hard, if it weighs you down, if there's just too much you know, negative juju, you don't want to deal with it. Okay. You're really trying to believe in yourself though. Maybe your inner, you might be having some inner turmoil, like fighting with yourself about stuff. Um, or maybe you're in some area of, of your life, like in work or whatever, even in a relationship where you've been put into like a competition type of position and it doesn't make you happy, okay? But you gotta trust, Leo, that you are you are strength, you are loyalty, you are courage, and you have everything, uh, you know, in you. You're made of everything that is is a, a born winner, a born leader. So don't forget that, okay? Don't forget that things are gonna feel hard, but this is you pushing through, okay? You've been through a lot recently. There's like a lot of disagreements, jealousy. Uh, you know disagreements going on here okay why do we have the knight of cups queen of swords oh shit that was clear as hell somebody cut somebody else off you're very clear very direct leo you're saying you're telling somebody here in some sort of romantic partnership exactly how you feel okay clarity exactly how you feel what else about this knight of cups what else Yeah, King of Pentacles telling you, um, you know, you, you want to be financially stable. You want to be stable in a connection. So maybe something about this connection wasn't stable. So you might be expressing or cutting this person off. Okay, why do we have the Two of Swords? You might be letting this person know, hey, this shit isn't working for me. Okay, like it's not stable. Okay, yeah, we have the Two of Swords because of the Queen of Pentacles. You want to be in a relationship, okay, but uh, I think that you could be rejecting somebody's offer or maybe it's just that you feel emotionally manipulated or um, like 
because we have the page of cups in reverse it's like not wanting to sh like share your feelings maybe somebody wants to share their feelings with you and you're just really not trying to hear it you're you you do not really want to share how you feel you could feel very cut off here with the two of swords too i get this like i don't want to talk i don't want to think about it i don't want to um, be emotionally involved okay what you're really trying to do is just nurture yourself um, you know like it feels a lot like just be alone I just want to trust in me I just want to trust in me now do you see the symbol here okay some of you may or may not know I'm a Reiki master as well as a tarot reader and a psychic and all these other crazy things that the good Lord just seemed to bless me with, okay? So um, that symbol actually is a symbol that we use in Reiki and it has to do with the emotional healing. So this was a head over heart decision you had to make because somebody has a very immature energy here with the Page of Cups, okay? And it could be that somebody is sort of like refusing to apologize apologize for maybe something they said or did um there could be some real instability here they kind of just brought drama and stuff to your door and you're trying to really be happy you want something very stable this person's not apologizing to you for something okay um so there's an emotional healing that's needed in this connection that maybe you weren't getting okay leo and you just decided you know what this like I don't like how this is and I don't want to keep this in my life there I'm telling you there's a new cycle and I think you can feel it because we have that two of cups and 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 what is the new cycle this is a relationship I'm telling you it's the two of cups is queen of pentacles this is you having somebody that's trustworthy that you can put your faith into or whatever okay that um you know you can build something with and they're gonna come in really sweet really romantic they're gonna share how they feel about you okay they're gonna let you know straight up this could be somebody who is waiting in the wings you know, or maybe they just got out of some sort of relationship here. I think they could have been in some sort of relationship too. But um, I feel like they're going to come forward and they're going to talk to you about how they feel about you. And they're going to want to take you out on a date. Okay. And that's it. It's, it's, that's it. So essentially you're leaving something behind that was probably unstable. There might have been jealousy, heaviness, burdens, you know, arguing, um, you know, it wasn't really like you were working too hard at this relationship to make it work. Only one person was working at it. And then you have somebody here who's very emotionally immature and can't even apologize for something that they did. I want to know what they did. Will you please tell me? Will you tell me what they did? Show me what they did. Hmm. Yeah, this person became complacent. It's like they got you and then they were like, womp, womp. They missed the opportunity, okay? They missed the opportunity. This person, you see this is open, right? You had the key and you opened their heart or the other way around. But then it's like this person just got complacent, okay? They just, they got bored. We call that a boredom cup, okay? So, you know, the, and I, this person probably most likely knows they missed a really good opportunity with you but leo you're not trying to be yeah don't emotionally manipulate me and then you're not going to apologize and nah, yeah i'm good you know so you're moving on here and boom it's sad because the stars in reverse which tells me at one time it was upright okay uh, and that means that you were hopeful that you saw something in this connection and now you're not you don't feel like there's any you know there's any hope left in it okay and when the emperor is in reverse it tells me that the emperor was once upright when you know and you were standing firm and you were feeling very strong okay but maybe you're not right now why do we have the king of cups please as what leo doesn't see coming six of wands six of wands you guys do you guys recognize that? Frank and Beans. <laughs> I, I, I need a babysitter and a helmet. Oh, yeah. Frank and Beans. It's like one of my favorite movies. There's something about Mary. Yeah. Okay. 
The Empress, Six of Wands. Okay, so mm, somebody, what you don't see coming is victory, triumph, public recognition, okay? If you've been working really hard on a project, it is moving forward for you. You are meeting people. You're teaming up with people. There is money to be made. You are putting in the work. You're learning a lot. You have success coming here, right? It's overriding whatever energy that you might have carried from August into September. So you're feeling better. Yeah, look guys, hey, at the bottom of the deck, walking away, right? Why? Because you know there's more for you. I totally forgot to say that when it comes to this connection, right? So you know, you have a victory like love is coming here somebody who's going to nurture the connection okay because they see you as the empress they recognize you for who you are they see you as the empress they're like oh my god oh my god look at leo and you're like yeah that's right for real i'm gonna do my thing and they're like girl do your thing and you're like that's right i'm gonna do my thing and they're like yeah you better do your thing yeah i do these conversations all day in my head i'm here until seven guys leave a dollar in the tip jar so, um, you know, some of you might find out, might end up pregnant. Okay. <laughs> if you're not trying to get pregnant in September, then sh sh put, sh you know, whoosh, I don't know, saran wrap, whatever you guys do. Okay. Uh, make that happen. But there's the possibility. But what I see here is you guys having a victory in love because em the Empress is, um, Taurus energy and its Libra energy is ruled by Venus, the planet of love. So she is unconditional love. Leo, you are going to experience one of the bigger triumphs in, in your life here uh, in some sort of connection with this overflowing love, okay? You're going to really get unconditional love from this person. It's a huge win for you, okay? You're walking away from a situation that maybe you wanted, maybe you saw, something with maybe there was really something there and you know things were happening but you're walking directly into a beautiful soulmate stable committed relationship with somebody who really wants to like they recognize you and they really want to give you the respect and the princess treatment or the king treatment that you deserve okay leo so i'm fucking stoked okay all right why do we have the emperor in reverse need to know this real quick thank you <sighs> queen of cups okay so you know i almost feel like some of you are recognizing that like there was a need for you to get out of your very very masculine energy with the queen of cups showing up it's about nurturing and taking care of yourself um, cause I feel like some of you might feel a little bit defeated a little bit because of that connection or like maybe that connection was starting to really drain something in you. So now I think the overall energy is loving yourself, uh, taking care of you, giving yourself unconditional love right now. Um, you know, for, for yourself, for your highest good. Okay. You're restoring and you're tapping. If you, even if you're a man, you're tapping into more your heart center and your divine feminine take that as it resonates i'm not trying to say you were a girl because guys will come be like i'm not a girl i know you're not you're a man <laughs> all right what else do we have here Let's see any messages for leo any messages Oof, okay i'm gonna take them i'm gonna take them yeah okay the grim reaper damn all right the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life like i said leo you're leaving one behind and another beautiful one is coming in it's it's not a joke folks i hope you showed up for school because i'm teaching the lessons today all right then we have the mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So yeah, maybe this person was just, you know, you thought they were one way, but they were another way. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they had on the smile face, but in the back, they was like all sorts of weird and messed up. What is, I'm going to leave dirt under my nail. Sorry guys. Ew. I feel like a homeless person now. Okay. So um, they could have been gaslighting you too, confusing you, whatever it was, all right? We have girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, 
being charmed or used enabled boundaries wow so yeah you were dealing with somebody who's got a lot of stuff going on here leo okay and that doesn't make them the worst people in the world it makes them completely unfucking aware of their behavior patterns right and what do we do we know that there's more so we go find it we had eight cups that's why i say they weren't the worst we go and manifest the real deal, okay? King of Pentacles is directly under there. You're manifesting somebody who got their financial life, their, their stability, their emotional life together. They are more mature than this person, okay? You did the right thing, Leo. I think for many of you, by putting that to rest, okay? Don't let it shake you. Welcoming love. Yes, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Wow. This reading is amazeballs, guys. This is a great, great reading for you, Leo. Okay, so have no fear. The right person is coming, I hope, because I feel like we've been around and around with maybe one particular energy for quite some time. Uh, it, but there is definitely a new person coming in here, but is having, it's taking you leaving something behind that you really wanted. You wished and hoped for this. I'm telling you, I know you did Leo because this star is usually like that. Like I said, and it is what it is. Okay. You can't change it. All right. Anything else? Can I have one more card? Thank you confusion yeah i feel like that's what this person did this person maybe made you feel very very confused so yeah leo you would be at a stalemate with that two of swords to try to figure out what do i want to do here you know do i stay do i go whatever it is you made a head over heart decision okay you weren't you were like if i use my heart i might get hurt i'm looking you know looking at this from all the different sides okay you were very confused quite possibly what else perception maybe your perception of them was skewed or their perception of you was skewed but something's going on with the heart chakra here of somebody okay um and i feel like it might have been the person that you were dealing with their heart chakra is messed up they see things from a perspective that maybe is not clear or not healthy okay especially if it was a narcissistic type of connection okay like this person you know they don't get it that it's probably about them okay and the way they perceive things okay and we only perceive things as we understand from our own heart right so if our heart needs work our perception is going to need work too so if my heart is like you know been really damaged and all these things i might you know not trust people or i i kind of always talk at people a certain way like i don't trust them even though they've not done something you know what i mean or i see them like as something bad about them and but it's not really real get what i'm saying so yeah this person i feel like they had you very confused uh and maybe they even the confusion caused them to change your perception of them even okay leo so wow i'm just like wow leo this is a great reading september is going to be great it's gonna start out great for you so i love you guys so much i hope that some of this resonated for you if it did please show your girl some love by smashing the love button um and subscribing and commenting down below let me know what's up with you guys what your what your birthday month was like um you know do you, did you meet somebody recently uh did you have to you know go through this particular situation let me know okay i love you guys and i will see you on the next one bye